Hey everyone, got a new track for you today. It's a blues in the key of G. It's a slower 12-8 feel. It kind of follows a stormy Monday. We're going to start with a G dominant 7th, like this. That note is the 13th. Then we're going to go to a C. And we're going to go back to a G. And uh, then we're going to alter that G just a little bit. Now you could think of it as a G or even as a D flat seventh because we're going to C next. We'll do that C again and then we start this little progression which I'll just show you in root position. It's a G7, a G major seventh or a G7. You can do either one really. I'm going to stick to G major seventh for now. Kind of an unusual chord for the blues. And then up to A minor, 7th, B minor 7th, flat everything, B flat minor 7th, and then we're going to go to D, that's our D chord, and then up a half step, back down a half step, and our turnaround is just a 1, a 4, a 1, and a 5. All right, I'll play a little bit of the track just with the chords at first. Uh, then I might mess around a little bit with the blues scale or the other blues scale. All right. G's a really good key too because you know you can just take white keys all over the place. said I was going to do the chords first. All right, here we go. Second line. Okay, so a few things I did different. Uh, you know, right in the beginning, if you want to get to that C, you can always do it like this and go right into it. All right, kind of how we do at the end of the first line, where we go into C for two measures, and then you know I did a chord inversion. You know, it's a G major seventh, but it's kind of like a rootless voicing. And I went A minor seventh like that, and I think I did B minor seven like that. I didn't want to put the C sharp in. And then uh, down another half a step, and you know you could you could play that as the D chord, even though it's an A minor chord, because it just it's just a suspension of the D chord. You can go to 
do it like that if you wanted to. And then sometimes I go up like this to the E flat chord, but another kind of cool thing that you can do, uh, especially if you're doing like a, a suspended chord is, it's like a C minor, and then back to D7, so. That's a kind of a cool change. I know I heard the Allman Brothers do that at one point. So, and then the turn around. Right. So, yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, have fun with the track. Everything's down there in the description, all free. Just click on it. And you, you know what to do. And uh, like and subscribe. Be, be good boys and girls now. All right. Thanks, everyone.